Um, okay, so today I took coffee grounds, 20 liters worth, it's a bucket full, and I put them on top here, and we're expecting rain tomorrow, so I'm going to let these guys soak in a little bit and down. At the moment there's a strong coffee smell coming off them, it's very pleasant though, it's not, uh, doesn't smell like it's um, anaerobic, it smells pretty good, and I want them to go into where all the other worms are which are down over here uh, let's just get a handful I'll show you guys a handful excuse me while I lose focus but I'm gonna grab a handful of just below the surface here and there should be plenty of worms just over here and that's the net layer below now oh, there we go they're loving it down here um, that's So there you go. All right, so so that's my oops. So that's my coffee ground experiment, and uh, yeah, let's see how let's see how it goes. We'll uh, keep an eye on it, and as for all my experiments, we'll see if it works, and I'll learn something along the line. So um, yeah, we'll 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 give you a bash. I've had worms fall into coffee before, into buckets like that twenty liter one, and um, I've had them come out as the biggest fattest worms I'd ever seen other than maybe Michael's which are much bigger but nowhere near as fat so yeah who knows maybe coffee is uh, the be all and end all of medium so it's all horse manure but it's very very slow to break down very slow indeed okay so this is Dave saying don't uh, give me a thumbs up or a, or a subscribe or a like or whatever it might be so and I'll catch up with you um, maybe a little bit later on in this.